Uh, Councillor Perks. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I want to begin by thanking all the people who came out to make deputations today. Thank you. It's been a long day. I appreciate your patience, but more importantly, and I'll get back to this, I appreciate the wisdom you've shared with us today. Looking at the report that's in front of us, it does two big things. It talks about the seniors in scattered homes being set into uh, new entities, so it re-slices the pie. And it also, for the first time, puts down some clear dollar figures about what we need to do to keep things from getting worse. Those are the two things the report does. In listening to the deputants, though, that's not what I was hearing the conversation was about. I was hearing concerns about safety, I was hearing uh, arguments for decentralization, for better social supports, for maintaining the buildings better and doing small repairs. That's what you told us. And when I asked city staff, is that, despite the fact that that was in the Mayor's Task Force report, is that costed here, is that planned for here? The answer was no. We're doing a pilot to test some of those ideas, but if you look at the report, those things will not be tackled till 2020. 2020. After the next election of the next provincial government, the next municipal government, and the next federal government. So these three governments have, have decided not to hear what you have asked for. Instead, we've been engaged in a, in a high-level, high-stakes negotiation about who pays to keep things from getting worse. Well, it started out high-level. Now it's more of a street brawl. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. When I talk to residents from Ward 14 who live in Toronto Community Housing, they do not care. They do not care whether it's Kathleen Wynne's fault, it's Toronto City Council's fault, or Justin Trudeau's fault. They just don't care. They want us to shut up and fix it. But more importantly, they want to make the quality of the units they live in today better. And we did not get a proposal for that in front of us, despite requests from the Mayor's Task Force and despite City Council direction to talk about giving us a report that makes Toronto Community Housing the housing provider of choice. That's what should have been here. All the air has been taken out of the room by three governments passing the buck on a big capital repair backlog. Well, Mr. Mayor, you know, I'm, I'm reminded of Harry S. Truman's famous dictum. Maybe I, he used to have a sign on his desk that said, the buck stops here. Maybe we at Toronto City Council need to get one of those and put it on the, the podium right in front of the speaker and so that we remember when we're debating these issues that there are real quality of life failing in our housing company today that we are choosing not to address. Mr. Hale made a very good point when he said, we have it within our authority to meet at council on July and announce we're going to tackle these things, issue a special temporary property tax levy, and improve the quality of life for people in Toronto community housing. We're choosing not to do that. Thanks, Councillor Perks. Uh, other members of uh, Council uh, not on the Executive Committee wishing to speak? Councillor Nunziata.